actual in no. In diet testing mode, the multimeter shows voltage. The voltage that drops across the diet you're measuring. And proof of this is the V icon in the upper right corner of the device display. For example, in this case, the drop is 0.17 volts, since it's a Schottky diet. On a regular diet, the drop is 0.73 volts. And on an LED, it drops 1.7 volts. It is actually possible to measure the actual resistance of a diode in a particular circuit, but it is pointless, and soon you will see why. We have the simplest circuit in front of us. An incandescent lamp is powered by a 6-volt source, and a Schottky diode is connected in series with it. To find out the diode resistance, we will apply Ohm's law. So the current in this circuit is 0.54 amps, and the drop across the diode is 0.35 volts. So, R equals U divided by E, 0.35 divided by 0.54, is 0.65 ohms. That is, if we install a resistor with such resistance in this circuit, we would get the same result. But let's raise the supply voltage to 8 volts. The drop on the diode is still 0.35 volts, but the current has increased and is now 0.64 amps. It turns out that the diode resistance has changed and is now 0.35 divided by 0.64, 0.54 ohms. This happens because the diode is a semiconductor device with a nonlinear VI characteristic. As the current increases, it reduces its resistance in order to keep the drop at the same level. Since for a particular diode, the drop value is basically unchanged, it is one of its main characteristics. That is why when measuring diodes, the multimeter displays voltage drop rather than resistance.